Hey all, I'm excited. I have a new tutorial for you for course two. It's been so long and I'm excited to bring one to you. Um, the idea that I have for you um, came from uh, when I went to do this layout of Hawaii. I have still not completed. It's 2013 and I, we went almost two years ago in 2011. Um, to uh, Kauai for our 25th wedding anniversary and I still have not finished this book and I'm barely started. I really want to do more of these layouts because the memories are great and the photos are fabulous and it just gives me an iggly wiggly side inside feeling to scrap it. So I decided that on my pages I wanted to add little maps so I could show where we are. I'm actually going to get this all in a hardbound book when I'm all the way done. And so, um, you know, I didn't really want a map with, you know, from the internet with all the stuff on it. I just wanted something simple to show where we traveled and, um, you know, where we were at when the photos were taken. And uh, so something simple. And so this here is an outline of the island. Because if I had all the cities and something off the internet, that would be kind of distracting from the beautiful photo. And um, so uh, here, I, th I love it. I, I love the simple thing that I did. And I want to show you what I did. I actually did go on the internet. Now, um, let me uh, turn these layers off so I can kind of go back and redo what I did. So here is the map that I got off the internet. Now, of course, you know, this is not copyright friendly. And, you know, if you look at it, it doesn't look that good right there on my layout. It really, your eye goes to it first, then your wonderful photo. And so what I did was to um, copy this layer. I'm going to turn that off. So we have this copy. And I went to the, uh, I'm in Photoshop Elements 11, so the tool options are at the bottom. I got the magic eraser and just click to get rid of all that blue. Then I proceeded to get my rectangular marquee tool to kind of chop off some of this. My goal was to get an outline of the uh, shape of the island. And I'm actually going to reuse this in many, many layouts. Now I'm not going to take the full time to do this, but after that I went back to my regular eraser tool and you see I got text in here. And so I just manually erased it all up up to the edge. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and show you my final product. And so here is extracted around the edge. And then I simply held down my control key. We use this all the time in so many different um, tutorials. Held down my control key, clicked on the thumbnail of the layer to get marching ants around my shape. I'm going to click to create a new layer and then went to edit. Well, first I picked a different color. I, I think I have the blue. I picked my foreground color. But edit stroke, um, I don't know. I had a blue originally. I don't know what I ended up with. I changed colors so many times. I believe I had about a 10 and I think it was on center. Do whatever you want. Click OK. Control D to deselect. We've done this in so many tutorials. Now I have my shape and I can reuse that over and over and over. As simple as that to get that off the map. And now I have my shape and I'm not really using the copyright friendly, uh, non friendly version. Um, something that's not so distracting from my layout. And then I'm going to turn this back on. 
turn this one off and I created a new layer and I simply got the brush tool and I found a hard brush. I don't remember what size it was. And then these are the roads. And in, in Kauai where we went, there's one main road that goes all the way around. That's the white. So this map has every road, every main road that's really there. Uh, the, the island is easy to follow around. And so I simply drew, and my brush is really too big. Reduce the size. I don't remember what size I had. I better figure that out. This is a better size. And then I simply drew along the road with the brush until we got where we saw this photo right here where we could see the ocean. And then I turned this one off, turned that one on, um, and then I started playing with it, changing colors. And I'm going to go ahead and delete these now because I'm going to bring back my final product. Of course, you're not going to be deleting yours. I just want to show you what I did with my final product. I actually, um, this is the outline, and I added a small drop shadow to it. And then there's my road where we drove from here to here in my journaling. And I added an arrow and copied it and turned it and put it up there. And then I labeled the arrows because we went from our condo to where the view was. And then I had my simple map. My uh, road also has a very small drop shadow on it as well as the little arrows and I the arrows I didn't intend to do it but they turned out pretty cool they've got a blending mode on it let's see maybe I did intend to do it ah look at this is this not cool I have a multiply blending mode and a lower opacity on the road too it actually worked out pretty good I don't know as if I intended to do that there would be normal. It didn't change too much. There's the normal road. So that actually looks pretty good too. I may go back and change that on my official layout. I don't think I intended... <laughs> I don't know where I picked that up. Probably something else I was working on. Uh, let's see these shapes. I don't know which way I like it better. I am going to have to go back and forth and decide which way I like it better with or without the blending modes in my text was normal. So there it is. There is my map. And so that's what your lesson is for course two is to create a map um, outline and mark your locations from your journaling and your story in your layout and do it so it is uh, copyright friendly. Have fun!